Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sandy. First off, hopefully you guys are enjoying your Labor Day weekend. Hopefully you got a little barbecue going, maybe some beer. And now this video is a follow-up to my last one regarding the fantasy football draft. So it took place last night and I'm gonna give you guys the results. Now I'd like to thank you very much for your input. It was actually beyond helpful. I once again I've never actually done a fantasy draft so all the names that you guys gave me I compiled them I saw which ones you guys like the most the sleeper picks and I was actually able to get the two or three that I was really happy about that really appeared on the list of uh, other names that I let you guys type in because that was the key you could choose whatever you want on the original list but it was the other that really mattered so, to begin with, I kind of got shafted. I had to draft second in a 10-man league. And I, once again, I never actually did fantasy, but even I know, I don't want to pick second. I actually wanted to pick like ninth or 10th. So, with my second pick, well, my first overall pick, but second, it was LaShawn McCoy. Because first overall went Peyton Manning. Even if I was first, I still would have went LaShawn McCoy, though. He's just, uh, people might get mad I picked him over Adrian Peterson, but I think McCoy is going to have a pretty terrific season like he did last year. So, second, I went for Alshon Jeffrey. I didn't pick again until pick 18 or whatever it was. No, not 18. I don't know, but the boards were cleaned out by then. I love Alshon, you know, a little bit of a homer pick. I made a couple homer picks. But uh, Alshon was on the board. I wanted to snag a wide receiver. The top quarterbacks were gone. The Breeze, Rodgers, Peyton, all gone. So I went with Alshon. Third pick, followed up with another running back, Doug Martin. Uh, I know Lovey Smith after watching him for years, and he does like to run the ball. And Doug Martin is back and healthy this season. Let's hope he puts up some good numbers. But uh, I guess we'll, we'll have to see about that. The, it was starting to get slim pickings at running back at that point. But Doug Martin, I thought it was a pretty good pickup. My fourth overall pick, I went with Jordan Cameron. Now, I'm feeling real good about Jordan Cameron because out in Cleveland, they lost Gordon for the year. Hawkins is looking like their main wide receiver. Jordan Cameron is going to be collecting the ball. You know, who else is catching the ball out there? I like Jordan Cameron a lot. After Jordan Cameron, I believe I went with Wes Welker. No, 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 sorry. After Jordan Cameron, I went with Tom Brady. See, a lot of people like to get the quarterback early, but I think after that main three or four, it's kind of, you know, like, there's a lot of equal guys. I thought Tom Brady was a pretty great pick up in the fifth or sixth. I think I got him in the sixth. So maybe I did get Wes Welker first. But yeah, Tom Brady. And then after that I got Wes Welker. Now Wes Welker, he might not he might not even know his name right now. The guy's so concussed. But he's still playing with Peyton Manning and he's still good for some numbers. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. And then I was I wasn't feeling too great about my wide receivers. So I was hoping for it, and luckily, in my next pick, Jeremy Macklin was still there. Now, we know the Eagles are going to have a pretty high-powered offense, and Deshaun Jackson is gone. So, I think Macklin will be playing his role somewhat, even though Jackson, of course, he's got a little more speed, but Macklin's going to be getting a lot more targets. So, if he holds up, I think he's putting in, putting in some good work. So... After Macklin, who did I go with? Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I believe after Macklin was the first of the, uh, not quite sleepers, but you guys really voted for him, Brandon Cooks, the rookie wide receiver down in New Orleans. Now, we know the Saints, they're going to have a crazy high-powered offense. And by all accounts, Cooks is looking like a beast. So I went in. With that name, I said I must land this guy. So I, it could have been a reach, whatever you may want to call it, but I got Cooks, and I'm feeling good about him. That's all because of you guys right there. 
After Cooks, uh, I believe I went with Tavon Austin. Now, once again, it starts getting to be pretty slim pickings at that point in the draft. Uh, Tavon, he didn't have a great season last year, and who's he, who's throwing to him this year? Sean Hill? Either way, it's always potential there. You know, these picks are really based off potential. You know, actually, I forgot to mention, before Tavon Austin, I saw Jay Cutler was still sitting on the board. So I thought it would be a smart move to pick him up because, you know, every year it's always Jay Cutler, you know, potential. This year, obviously, he's got huge potential to put up good fantasy numbers. And even if I'm starting Tom Brady, Cutler could be a good trade piece or we'll see how he's doing by midseason. We'll find out by then if he's actually putting up fantasy numbers. He's got no excuses this year, and that's a fact. So I got Cutler. After that, I went with Carlos Hyde, the running back out in San Francisco. Because Gore is starting to break down. There's no doubt about that. Hyde was looking like a beast. And a lot of you guys voted as your sleeper for Carlos Hyde, so I snagged him. Thank you guys for that. Also, oh, before Carlos Hyde. Sorry, once again, I didn't write down the order. I'm just looking at the list. I went with Jordan Reed. Now, a lot of people... Are could get upset about the three tight ends, but Jordan Reed's got huge potential for the Redskins. And I got Cameron starting. So even if, you know, Reed doesn't make the, the flex spot, because I'm liking, I'm liking Brandon Cooks there right now. But if Reed doesn't make it, once again, great trading piece right there. And then I went with the Rams D special teams. His uh, Seahawks were gone. They were gone pretty early, so... I like the Rams a lot. I wanted Aaron Donald so bad in the draft. The Rams took him one place before the Bears, so hopefully, you know, the Rams, D, they, they got stars in that line. So let's hope they put up some numbers. I went with uh, Robbie Gold as my kicker. Little homer pick. I love Robbie Gold, even though he's kicking in Chicago. The guy is great. And then another super sleeper voted by you guys. This name was popping up often. Tim Wright, the Patriots tight end that they had just traded for from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. One guy pointed out that um, he matched Jimmy Graham in the last five weeks of the season last year in touchdowns. And that's a pretty awesome stat right there because Jimmy Graham went early. Round two, I believe. And, uh, you know, Patriots, they're not running the two tight end set as much as they did when they had Aaron Hernandez. But it's looking like Tim Wright's going to be playing a bit of that role, though. He's a pure pass-catching tight end. Once again, another possible trade chip right there. So, as my last pick overall, he was sitting on the board. I was like, whatever, let's take a shot at it. I went with Jonathan Stewart. Uh, this was actually the second-to-last pick of the entire draft, so there really wasn't much left at that point. Jonathan Stewart, who knows? You know, he started out pretty decent. Uh, he's been getting banged up. And whatever, we'll see by midseason. But once again, obviously, I've never, I've never done fantasy before, and I could tell that what I drafted yesterday, by the end of the season, I don't know, maybe 50% of them will still be on the team. You know, so we're going to have to play those waiver wires. And uh, what do you guys think about the team? You know, hopefully it's pretty decent. Uh, the wide receivers could use a little help, but... It's it's definitely relying on potential more than proven production at this point. But I'm feeling pretty solid for my first draft. And you know what? If Brandon Cooks, Tim Wright, or Carlos Hyde really break out, I have you guys to thank for, uh, for my league victory. <laughs> now we'll see. I'll keep you updated during the season, though. All right. I'll see you guys.